Hi, it's Tammy Cicerello from beautiful Santa Cruz, California. And you know, everyone keeps asking me what's going to happen in the real estate market in 2019. So I thought I'd go ahead and answer it on this video. So I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't tell you for sure what's going to happen, but I've been doing a lot of study on it. And there was a survey out that, nine, that 100, over 100 economists, trusted real estate economists uh, did, and they are saying 94% of them are saying that they foresee a 4.5% increase in prices over the next couple of years. So. That being said, there are 4% that think that we're going to have a slight decline in the market, but they aren't even predicting a huge decline in the market. They're seeing a slight decline in the market, and 2% thinks we're just going to hold steady. So people say, well, then what about rates? What's going on with rates? Well, the Fed is now kind of backing off on that. They're thinking they're going to raise rates, but not very much. So I think we're probably going to see rates get into the mid fives or somewhere in the fives next year. But rates don't always change the um, price values. So I have this chart here. Oh, I'm in, in the wrong order. Let me grab this one. I have this chart here. It talks about the mortgage rates and what it does to pricing. So back in 95 to 2000, rates went up 1.81% during that period of time. Prices went up 13% during that period of time. In 2012 and 2007, rates went up 1.11%. Prices went up 11%. Now back here in 96, prices, rates went up 1.2% and prices went up 2%. So it's not unreasonable for us to think if rates go up into the fives, that prices could still be increasing up to that four and a half percent range that they're predicting. Now let's look at the historical rates. So historically in 1970s, the rate, the average rate was 8.86%. So I know a lot of people are freaking out because their rates are getting up in the fives. Well, for millennials, I totally get it. During your adult lifetime, you've never seen rates in the fives. So that's totally understandable. For people like myself in our 50s, <laughs> when we first bought our first home, we're looking at in, in the 11, you know, in almost 11% range. And some people that are older bought 14, 15% range. So keep that in mind. Um, I know it's hard for us all to remember back that far, but being under five or in the fives is actually still historically very low rates. If you look at the decades, 2000s, it was 6.29%. In the 80s, it was 12.7. So that was the average rate during that period of time. So keep all of that in mind when you're making these decisions. Rates are still historically very low. So then people say, well, wait, but mortgages aren't affordable because of the high prices and the even though the rates are lower, mortgages aren't affordable anymore. Well, this is a mortgage affordability index. And I personally couldn't believe this when I was reading it either, so I totally understand, but the numbers don't lie. In 85 to 2000, Prices, the mortgage affordability was at 21%. In 2006, I think we all know it was crazy, it got up to 25.4%. In the first quarter of 2018, it was 17.1%. It was the least expensive time to buy a home over the last 30 years. So this is based on a median income and with the rates what they were at 2018 in the first quarter. Now, here's a forecast. If rates go up to 5%, we're looking at a 19%. We're still at some of the lowest in the 30, last 30 years of the affordability, mortgage affordability rates. It has to go all the way up to 7% before we're, we're exceeding that. So keep all this in mind. Now I do want to show this, and it's, it's a little bit of an old chart, so if you'll notice it says today's rates at 4.04 .04, and they are in the high fours now. So just keep in mind, this is a little bit older, but it gives you, it will prove the point. At 4.04, .04, this is on a $200,000 loan, which I know in our area isn't real realistic. So let's just double that. In, in, if this was a $400,000 loan, this number would be double, up, doubled. So we'd be looking at like $1,918 a month. Now, this is at 4.04%. If rates go up to 6.29, we double this rate, we're looking at almost a $600 difference between what the, the payment is at 4.04 .04 versus 6.29. Now again, we don't think rates are going to 6.29. I think they're gonna be somewhere in the fives. But this just kind of proves the point of how much on a 200, every $200,000, how much the 1% interest rate increase can change uh, the, the purchase, the payments. So please, now is definitely the great time to buy. 2019, if you are renting, you definitely need to buy. If you're thinking of moving up, down or sideways, it's still a great time to buy and make your moves now. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and give us a call. And I hope you have a healthy, happy and prosperous new year.